wow. Is it is it gonna get funny? Because this shit is fucking depressing. Hey man, Nippy Two X One though. I'm the Texan with the tornado beard. This is how weird I am. I'm the only reactor who dares to react in his bathroom because it's the quietest place in the house, and you don't even know what the hell's going on back there. Don't look back there. That ain't for you. And I also am the only reactor to dare to react with three killers standing behind me. So it's gonna be true. It's gonna be what it is. Look, this is George Carlin, Dumb Americans, and I'm acting like a dumb American, so let's see what the fuck's going on with this shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> I ain't redoing all that shit. Sorry. People are fucking Have my fan on. This country is full of nitwits and assholes. You don't like that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Right. Yeah. I'm going to pause and see if the vibe. Okay. Hey, y'all. Okay. Uh, I just had to figure out something. I said, wait a second. I realized how loud it sounded, so I had to pause the video, and I went back, and I listened to that first part again, and yes, I'm sorry, I tried to fix the audio issue. I'm, I'm working on the stuff, man. I'm working on my stuff. All right. Nitwits, assholes, fuck-ups, scumbags, jerk-offs, and dipshits. <laughs> and they all vote. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts the shit right off, dude. Oh man, I am. Hang on a second. It's peach this time. I don't care. Okay. I don't want to choke. All vote. Yeah. In fact, well, he's old as shit. The impression they're the only ones who vote. <laughs> you can usually tell who's been doing the voting by looking at the fucking election returns. Man, it sure ain't me out there wasting my time with a meaningless activity like that. I don't believe you know that. The yeah. Springer show. Those are the average Americans. Oh, yeah, believe me, below average can't get on the show. Can't get on. Below average is sitting home watching that shit on TV. <laughs> Be honest with you, it was already proven that that shit was all staged. <laughs> Getting ready to go out and vote. Filling out their sample ballot. People are fucking dumb. You can say what you want about this country, and I love this place. I love the freedoms we used to have. I love it. I love that. Damn. Damn, is that a graveyard? What a fucking man. I love it when it didn't take what? a fucking catastrophe to get us to care for one another. I love <laughs> the fact that we're on camera all the time from all angles. But you know what? You can say what you want about America. And I say I love this place. I wouldn't have it any other way. wouldn't live in any other time in history in any other place. But say what you want about America. Land of the free, home of the brave. We got some dumbass motherfuckers floating around this country. <laughs> dumbass <laughs> first thing that came to my head was I was thinking, yeah, I see most of them in traffic because I deliver for a living. I deliver medication. <laughs> so I'm in, I do every job I've ever had. I've always been on the road driving. And I'm probably, <laughs> even today, and most of these dumbasses, I'm all like, yeah, yeah, motherfuckers. <laughs> They're all out on the highway, too. <laughs> Let's get into the shit. Oh, my God. Hang on. All right, man. I had to take a drink, and I realized last time when I was... I go back and watch the videos. That's how I learn sometimes, and it's kind of weird watching yourself, but it's how you want to grow your shit. And well, last time I took a sip, is a nasty little gulp noise, and I was like, yeah, all right, I cough and fucking fart all the time in my videos. I don't give a shit. Last thing you want to hear is a fucking gulp gulp and shit. All right, anyways, let's get back into it. Obviously, that doesn't include this audience. I understand that. <laughs> and the motherfuckers. Receptive, but the rest of them, holy jumping fucking shit balls. <laughs> Than a second coat of paint. <laughs> and this ain't just ranting and raving. This ain't just blowing off steam. I got a little evidence fuck? to support my claim. Okay. It just seems. Yeah, he's to in me, a graveyard. That's cool. I didn't know. I, what? He's in a graveyard. That's only awesome. a really low IQ population. I'm sorry. I'm gonna come. Earthquake. My foot's down here kicking the little stool. Uh, yeah, I, I wore this shirt today with the Grim Reaper saying, what a day, and he's in a graveyard. I didn't mean to do this. This is fucking crazy. Sometimes things just happen. Let me go back. Let me go back. All right. 
This ain't just blowing off steam. I got a little evidence to support my claim. It just seems to me, seems to me, that only a really low IQ population could have taken this beautiful continent, this magnificent American landscape that we inherited. Well, actually, we stole it from the Mexicans and the Indians, but <laughs> hey, it was nice when we stole it. It looked pretty good. It was pristine. Paradise. Have you seen it lately? Have you taken a good look at it lately? It's fucking embarrassing. Only a nation of... Dude, even right now, damn. <laughs> ...could have taken this beautiful place and turned it into what it is today. A God, dude, I'm sorry. I had to pause it, man. This motherfucker is going to make me cry. What the fuck, dude? Why is he... I'll tell you what. As he got older, he got more cynical, man. <laughs> this dude is old as shit. And this is the darkest... He's in a graveyard telling the darkest fucking joke I've ever fucking heard somebody tell on fucking this grand of a scale. Holy shit, dude. Wow. What a fucking legend. <laughs> Lately, it's fucking embarrassing. Still, you wouldn't, you definitely wouldn't want to call him now and be like, hey, George, man, I'm in a bad mood. Can you pick me up? He'd be like, man, fuck you and die. And he would just hang right up on you, you dumbass. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Oh, man. It looked pretty good. It was pristine. Paradise. <clears throat> Have you seen it lately? Have you taken a good look at it lately? It's fucking embarrassing. Only a nation of unenlightened half-wits could have taken God, this beautiful dude. place and turned it into what it is today. There's like shopping some people. Mall. <laughs> a big fucking shopping mall. Yeah, dude, those are facts. I can't even laugh at that, dude. That's what, exactly what's happening. Look at That's Amazon. Here, seriously, seriously. I started doing delivery business because, like I said, I've always done delivery shits. And I started like, hey, wait, you can work for these Amazon, like through an app and shit. And I started like, I was like, wait, I can make my own contract. And so that's what I started doing. I got my own contract and found places around here. And I said, fuck it. I want to, I want to do my own thing. And, but you know what I'm saying? Like I got started like, like, like working for that. And I thought to myself, I was like, dude, they turn this fucking phone, this device into a shopping mall. I thought that I was like, man, that's exactly everything we have. They turn it into buy, buy, buy. And then I started thinking about that fucking, uh, that, 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 I'm not biblical or anything, but it reminds me all the time of that time when, like, uh, I, I don't even know the part of it, I might be getting it wrong, but, like, Jesus got mad that because everybody turned his fucking, uh, he went to a church and they turned it on to, like, a, 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 like a flea market, and he got all mad and flipped the tables over and stuff. He's like, get this out of my dad's house, man. You know what I mean? Like, Anyways, it kind of reminds me like that, dude. Like, that's exactly what they're turning the world into, man. We don't have good Lord. This is all about the money, though. It's all about greed, though. Mall. A big fucking shopping mall. Bro, you're going to get my honest you know opinion, and I'm telling you like I feel it while that's I'm watching it, got. while I'm thinking it. That's all you've got. Might change tomorrow, folks. but. Mile after mile of mall after mall. Yeah. Many, many malls. Major malls and mini malls. Walmart. The mini malls fucking in between the major malls. And Amazon. The mini malls, they put the mini marts. And in between the mini marts, you got the car lots. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I didn't realize. I didn't realize. I'm going to rewind it because, okay, you know, I apologize I, to anybody watching this as a George Carlin fan. It was that I apologize. I didn't realize he was going to start doing a monologue and stuff. So that's why I rewind it. Let's hit this. Let's, let's, let's get into this, dude. He, he, he's a legend for doing this. He just goes off like this. Here. That's all you got. That's all you've got here, folks. Mile after mile of mall after mall. Many, many malls. Major malls and mini malls. They put the mini malls in between the major malls. And in between the mini malls, they put the mini marts. And in between the mini marts, you got the car lots, gas stations, muffler shops, laundromats, cheap hotels, fast food joints, strip uh, clubs, and dirty bookstores. America, oh my the God. one big transcontinental commercial cesspool. How do the people feel about all this? How do the people feel about living in a coast-to-coast -coast shopping mall? Well, they think it's just... Fucking dandy. They think Jeez. it's cool as can be because Americans love the mall. They love the mall. That's where they get to satisfy their two most prominent addictions at the same time shopping and eating. <laughs> Millions of semi conscious Americans. Dude, like. This is not even funny, dude. Though you hear how nobody's laughing? Does George Carlin realize that he got so cynical that his fucking dark humor got so fucking dark that it became depressing but entertaining to hear? What the fuck?
Oh my god, what a legend. He's doing this in a graveyard, dude. I'm serious. Holy shit. I'm sorry, I had to pause it there, dude. Like, wow. It is also my reaction channel. And I'm gonna look at you that way this time. Let's do it. <laughs> Them all. That's where they get to satisfy their two most prominent addictions at the same time. Shopping and eating. I love shopping. I love shopping. Americans. I love shopping mall Chinese food. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. After day, shuffling through the malls, shopping and eating, especially eating. Americans love to eat. They are, they are That's true. They are attracted to the slow death of fast food. Hot dogs, corn dogs, triple bacon, cheeseburgers, deep fried butter, dipped in pork fat and cheese whiz, mayonnaise soaked, barbecued mozzarella, patty melts. Americans will eat anything, anything, anything. God damn. You were selling sauteed raccoons assholes on a stick. Wow. Americans would buy them and eat them. I don't, I, I wouldn't. Them in butter and put a little salsa on them. Well, okay, now, you, uh, now you got me. Time, pig time. Forget the big bald time. eagle. You know what the national emblem of this country ought to be? A big bowl of macaroni and cheese. A big wow. bowl. Because everything in this country is king size. King size, extra large, and super jumbo. Especially the fucking people. God Have you damn. Seen some of the people in this country. Have you? Fuck you, George. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god dude this shit <sighs> wow is it is it gonna get funny because this shit is fucking depressing this country is king size king size extra large and super jumbo especially the fucking people have you seen some of the people in this country have you taken a good look at some of these big fat motherfuckers walking around <laughs> big fat you know what fuckers i'm gonna tell you what dude yeah like I know I'm getting old though. There's motherfuckers I seen that fucking they are ballooned like like you know what I mean? I'm still proportionate. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, God dang. Anyways, fat shaming people. Have you I seen know I some of the people in this country. Have you George is George, big, he's doing it motherfuckers walking around. You big, big fat, fat motherfucker. Motherfuckers. You big fat motherfucker. Oh my god. <laughs> Huge piles of redundant protoplasm. Oh my god, Remember protoplasm. Walls, like a fleet of interstate buses. The people in this country are immense, massive bellies, okay. monstrous thighs, and big fat fucking asses. And if you stand there for a minute and you look at one of them, you look at one of them, you, you, you begin to wonder, how does this woman take a shit? <laughs> I'm laughing so hard because, like I told you, I've always been on the road as my job. <laughs> so I, I seen a booty that big, and I thought, "How do you take a shit?" <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is crazy. This motherfucker is insane. Who let me catch my breath, man? Oh man, George, you're killing me, dude. Death's gonna fucking finish that beer. Come take me, man. Calm down, bro. Stand there for a minute and you look at one of them, you look at one of them, you, you, you begin to wonder, how does this woman take a shit? <laughs> the way he says it. How does she shit? How does she shit? And even more frightening, how does she wipe her ass? That's the... <laughs> Can she even locate her asshole? She must require assistance. <laughs> Are paramedics trained in this field? <laughs> right, right next to it, of course. I can't pause it. It's not working. Oh, my God. No, back. don't stop it, dude. He said a paramedics trained in this field of wiping this poor lady's ass. God damn, that's a fat ass. Oh, my God, dude. That shit's killing me, man. Oh, man. You talk. Okay, if you want to know why I'm laughing so hard, this is coming from a guy who spent all of last year playing Call of Duty 
Cold War just because I wanted to kick people in the dick because it was an execution where you were sitting there and you were fucking ADS and I would come up behind you and all of a sudden it would pop out into a three dimension and I would yell out in the mic, I'm going to kick you in the dick and then I would do it and you would die. And I spent all year doing that because I thought that was fucking hilarious. So you can see why <laughs> this is fucking funny to me. Dude. This shit is fucking, oh my God. This is like, so he, he took this shit to like the most serious most fucking macabre note he could have and then he just twisted it into this ridiculous fucking child dick and fart joke fucking humor dude like god damn george this is crazy dude <laughs> fucking hey damn in this field <laughs> standing right next to her of course with a mm. plate full of nachos and a mouthful of pie as her clueless fucking husband joe six-pack Joe With six pack. His swollen beer belly hanging dangerously out over his belt, beer belt buckle. I've like seen this. Seen his dick since the Nixon administration. <laughs> <laughs> he said he ain't seen his dick since the Nixon administration. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, this shit is killing me, man. He going into fat jokes. He said this guy got dicky do. <laughs> he said his gut hang lower than his dicky do. <laughs> oh my god, George, this shit is fucking come on, man. Oh, this is my kind of humor, though, dude. My fa- my head hurts, man. God damn, I thought we got a blood vessel busted, dude. Jesus. Clueless fucking husband, Joe Sixpack. <laughs> George, you're killing me over here. Belly hanging dangerously out over his belt, beer belt buckle. This guy ain't seen his dick since the Nixon administration. <laughs> and if you stand there and you're <coughs> you begin to wonder to yourself, do these people fuck? Is this man actually capable of fucking this woman? <laughs> I can't, I can't stop. What's it going to pause? Please, this guy, they fuck. Oh man, can this Lepetta fucking bang this orange? <laughs> George, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> fucking, I'm serious. My head hurts, man. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm gonna take a drink of water. I'm gonna. You gotta get a transition right here. I'm gonna fucking hit the rewind button so you see that it's taking it a little bit. But yeah. All right, I had to take a drink of water. My water setting over here. <laughs> Man, that shit was killing me, dude. <laughs> George, come on, dude. This monstrous swollen beer belly hanging dangerously out over his belt. Beer belt buckle. This guy ain't seen his dick beer since the buckle. Nixon administration. <laughs> that still gets me, dude. And if you stand there and you look at the two of them, <laughs> even death is laughing to yourself. Do these people fuck? <laughs> is this man actually capable I knew it was of coming. fucking this woman? It doesn't seem structurally possible. <laughs> That these two people could achieve penetration. You said structurally possible. Maybe they're not Cirque du Soleil or something. <laughs> Telling you, the people in this country, <laughs> for every half of every one of them is 50 pounds of their gargantuan. Stop, in the summertime, dude. It's not open. stopping. Okay. I got a new laptop coming. Well, it's already here. I just... It's a Windows laptop, and I was trying to figure out how to get it to do like I do on the Mac, and I can't get this shit to be like this. <coughs> so I figured out a different way to do it, and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll figure shit out. Shit. Oh, anyway, sorry. Uh, I had a pause, dude. George is killing me, dude. <coughs> I've lost my fucking train of thought, man. I, this dude has got me fucking cracking up. Like, I feel like, too. Uh, every half, of, every, every one of them is 50 pounds over it. They are got good <coughs> chewing. And in the summertime, God help us. In the summertime, they all want to wear short pants. <laughs> Jesus, Lord, protect me of all that is good and holy. Deliver me from fat people in short pants. They all got short pants, big bellies, fat thighs, and dumb kids. Short pants, big bellies, fat thighs, and dumb, dumb kids. kids. Every one of them's got two dumb ass kids with them. Oh, the shit, I got two of them back here. <laughs> I'm with stupid. I'm with stupid, yeah. He was stupid, huh? That's what fucking Freddie saying. I was stupid. Oh my god, man. Fucking George is killing me, dude. 
Oh man. Short pants, okay, he got he turned it around. He brought the kids. funny. Every one of them's got two dumb ass kids with him. And the I hear whole my face. wearing t shirts, and every one of them's got the same t shirt. I'm with stupid. Please. Apparently, in this country, the stupids are an extended family. And besides wearing them t shirts, <laughs> everyone in the family's got on a backpack. They got a backpack strapped to their back. So they I remember back lots then. That's a stupid shit. <laughs> the reason they got to carry their stupid shit strapped to their backs is because their hands must remain free at all times to hold food. Oh, my God. Get that food up to the mouth where it gets shoveled in with all the rest of the disgusting <laughs> shit they ate that day. Oh, my God, George. Another That's a pretty fucking specific person you don't like. Even more stupid shit. <laughs> they ain't got enough stupid shit at home. They just had a stupid shit sale. They got to buy more. They're going to go out in the parking lot and stuff this stuff into the big, fat, ugly, oversized SUV. <laughs> God plenty damn. Of room in it. Plenty of room in it for stupid shit and lots of room left over for these big, fat, ugly motherfuckers to get them home. Wow. Stopping, of course, for jelly roll and fried dough. Wow. These people, these people are efficient, professional, compulsive consumers. It's their civic How fucking duty. long is consumption. this? It's the new national pastime. Fuck baseball. It's consumption. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had a pause, and it, it, it's, it's messing up. Like I said, I'm going to do my reactions on this other computer I got once I get it all hooked up. The only there it goes, cool. The only lasting American value that's left, buying things. <laughs> buying things. People spend money they don't have on things they don't need. Money wow. they don't have on things they don't need. So they can max out their credit cards and spend the rest of their lives paying 18% <clears throat> interest on something that costs twelve fifty, And they didn't like that's it when true. they got it home anyway. Not too bright, folks. Not too fucking bright. That's true. But if you talk to one of them about this, if you isolate one of them, you sit them down rationally, you talk to them about the low IQs and the dumb behavior and the bad decisions, right away they start talking about education. That's the big answer to everything. Education. Wow. Yes, we need more money for education. We need more... more, more yeah, I've heard people say that. I'm like, really? Schools. Uh, we need more testing for the kids. You say to them, well, you know, we've tried all of that, and the kids still can't pass the test. They say, oh, don't you worry about that. We're going to lower the passing grades. And that's what they do in a lot of these schools now. Wow. The passing grades, so more kids that's true. Pass. More kids pass. The school is <clears> good. Everybody's happy. The IQ of the country slips another two or three points. And pretty soon, all you'll need to get into college is a fucking pencil. <laughs> Got a pencil. Wow. Get the fuck in there. It's physics. <laughs> and everyone wonders why 17 other countries graduate more scientists than we do. Education. Politicians know that word. They use it on you. Politicians have... He's speaking. Dude, words. I'm sorry. I'm hypnotized by him. Dude, he's speaking facts. Wow. He brought he, he he brought the funny he dropped the funny and he's going back into facts now. He's he trying to wake people up. The flag, the Bible, and children. No child left behind. No child left behind. Oh really? Well, it wasn't long ago you were talking about giving kids a head start. Head start left behind. Someone's losing fucking ground here. <laughs> oh my God! All right, man. <laughs> fucking George Carlin, dude, you kill me, bro. Oh man, he t <laughs> I wasn't expecting. He got so dark, and then he went into some fat jokes, and then he just went into some truth bombs, dude. And it's like, oh my god! Like at the end, I didn't even want to fucking. It's hard to laugh at some of the shit he was saying, dude. It really was. Anyways, we're gonna get out of here, man of your dreams, and say and see you later. <laughs> Here's Freddy Krueger. In case you didn't know who that was. Oh, I'm halfway out of the camera. Anyways, there you go. Do, 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 do. He goes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's Jason here. Stand up, Jason. He's so stupid. He's about to fall on the ground. And then Michael Myers, I got to hold him like this, and I got to tell him like that. <clears throat> he goes, me, 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 me,